Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. This is Pradeep Kumar from Device Bar. In this video, we will see how to download Audible audiobooks and listen to them using Apple Books on our Mac OS devices like MacBook, Mac Mini, etc. So let's check it out. Audible or audiobooks is a good way to keep ourselves occupied and focused. Uh, we can listen to them while commuting, walking, even when we are taking a shower. Audible doesn't have a standalone app for macOS at the moment, but there is an alternate way to do this and we will see that now. These are the current steps for doing this process, but the user interface might change in the future. If that happens, please let us know in the comments. We will share the updated steps for this. So to do this, we have to go to the Audible website audible.in or .com or we can simply Google Audible and it will open the link according to the location you are in. Then we have to log into our associated Audible or Amazon account. If you don't have an active account right now, you can check out our affiliate link in the description which will give you a free trial for 30 days and up to two premium audiobooks if you are a Prime member. So we just have to log in. Then we have this library section, we just have to select this. Here we can see the list of uh, audiobooks that we have that we purchased using a credit or a credit card. We will have this list here. So under each book we have this option called download. Here we can see these options. We just have to press the download option here. It will start to download this uh, file. So the file size might depend on the audible duration. It could be 100 MB, 200 MB like that. So after downloading that file, it will look like this. We will have the audiobook thumbnail and also we have this .aax format. So this is used by audible to store the audiobooks. So we just have to open it and it will automatically open via the Apple Books app. So if you are using this for the first time, then it will ask you to authorize this computer or something, but we have to do it only one time, I guess. So now here we can see the audiobook. Actually, for the past few minutes, we have been facing some uh, issues. I was not able to add the audiobook to the Apple Books app. Uh, like I thought it's a bug or something, but there is a way to fix this. So I was recording this video and this is the error I got. This audiobook isn't authorized to play on this device. Why? So I got this error and I had no idea why this is happening. But there is a way to overcome this. So we just have to select the audiobook now. We will get this pop up. To play this audiobook, you will need to authorize this computer for your Audible account. Would you like to go to the Audible's website now to do this? So we can select yes. Some people said uh, Firefox and Chrome browsers are having some issues regarding this. So we can set the default browser to Safari and then select yes. So it will just open this uh, page with the dot in. I am from India. So all I have to do is just change that to dot com. So we will get this activate now option. So I have logged in to my uh, default audible account regardless of audible.in or .com. I am just using my usual audible account here. So now I just have to select activate now. We favored other schools of psychology, though people still search for meaning in what they That's all. Now the do and how they live. live. We this is audible. Ikigai. By Hector Garcia and Francesc So yeah, that's all. We can see our Audible audiobook under Apple Books Home. We have this uh, thumbnail like that. If we select this, we have all these options. Share, add to want to read, add to collection, mark as finished, remove from continue. So we just have to select this. Extraordinary longevity, longevity of the Japanese. Of the Japanese. Okay. So we also have the audiobook under the audiobook section. Suppose if you are still facing any issues, then you can go to this account option, authorizations. We can uh, just uh, experiment with this option and this option. You can try to authorize and deauthorize your audible account and see if it works. These are the steps to download Audible audiobooks and listen to them on Apple Books on our macOS device. Thanks for watching this video. Do kindly share your questions and thoughts in the comment section. Please do subscribe if you find this video helpful. Have a wonderful day and night.